Transparency could be coming to Michigan government thanks to a group of new bills. Michigan, known for being one of the least transparent states in the country, has had a bipartisan Senate bill package passed through committee and House Republican and Democrats unveiling their own transparency bills all within the past week. News 10 Capitol correspondent Zachariah Wheaton heard from the bill sponsors and found out how this legislation will bring more transparency to our state. Michigan is one of only two states where the legislature and governor's office are exempt from Freedom of Information Act requests. However, with revived efforts happening in the state to boost transparency, lawmakers and advocates who have spent the past decade working on the issue are feeling a bit more optimistic. In the past, they've always passed the House and ended up jammed up in the Senate due to leadership. I am optimistic that um, they might actually go somewhere this time. The Michigan Press Association worked on the bipartisan Senate bills that expands FOIA requests to the governor's office and the legislature. And while that package of bills passed through committee last week, House Republicans and Democrats also introduced their own separate transparency bill packages, including the Democrat-sponsored Bright Act. Sunshine Week does tend to bring out everybody's goodwill with regard to transparency. I want it to stay sunny all year, not just the second week in March. The Michigan Press Association worked on the bipartisan Senate bills that expands FOIA requests to the governor's office and the legislature. And while that package of bills passed through committee last week, House Republicans and Democrats also introduced their own separate transparency bill packages, including the Democrat-sponsored Bright Act. This bill just addresses a, a number of issues that are out there uh, that we've seen bad actors um, in the recent past uh, do things that really were not okay. The sponsor of one of the Senate bills says while they aren't perfect, they're a step in the right direction. Those who want to skirt the law will find new ways to skirt the law. But I think it can reassure that the, to the public that the vast majority of us are just doing the work at hand as quickly and as functionally as we can. Legislators and advocates are now hopeful for the future of transparency in the state. However, concerns still remain among Republicans, as the governor plans to cut over a quarter of the funding towards the Auditor General's office, which oversees the funding for lawmakers and other state agencies. For now, reporting in Lansing, I'm Zach Rye Wheaton, News 10. The Senate transparency bills are heading to the Senate floor for a vote, while the Bright Act is expecting a committee hearing sometime next month.